How do you outfox one of Australia's most elusive introduced species? Meet Sam and Jazz, English Springer Spaniels, our latest recruits in the fox eradication program. Hi, I'm Craig. And I'm Stu. And together, the four of us are trying to track down the last remaining foxes here on Phillip Island in Victoria. Fox, 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 fine, fine, wait. Foxes were deliberately introduced into Australia in 1855 for recreational hunting, but the hunted soon became the hunters, and it wasn't long before evidence began to appear of their devastating effects on native wildlife. Foxes are thought to be the main cause for 9 out of 10 little penguin colonies here on Phillip Island becoming extinct, and in the past a single fox has killed up to 30 penguins in one night at the remaining penguin colony. So we commenced a fox eradication program which relied on broad scale baiting and other techniques such as trapping and spotlighting to remove the foxes from Phillip Island. The program has been hugely successful in removing many foxes from the island. And now we are hoping that our new fox detection dogs will be an integral part of locating the last remaining foxes on the island. Sam and Jazz have been specially trained to detect fox cats and to find and follow their scent trails which will hopefully lead us back to their dens. When Sam or Jazz find a scat, they've been trained to indicate where the scat is so we can map the location and collect it for analysis. Now Sam's found the scat, um, we give a bridging word which is yes. And this tells the dog yes, he's done the right, right thing, he's found the scat and um, he's earned, earned his reward with some tennis ball. Both the, the scat dogs love the tennis ball for reward so I'll pull the ball out and give him the yes bridge and then he knows Time to go and have a play. Yes! Sometimes I'm just, um, just reward him with a pat too, like this is when he gets his, gets his reward. Good dog, well done. Good find. Good fella. Well done. Good boy. While Craig rewards Sam for finding the scat, I'll now prepare the scat for collection. This involves collecting the GPS coordinates of where the scat is located, taking photos of the scat with a label card, then carefully collecting it in a paper bag without touching it. This scat will now be sent away for genotype testing, which will confirm fox presence, identify individual foxes, and give us a more accurate estimate of the fox population on Phillip Island. You may have noticed that dogs also wear special GPS tracking collars, so we can map the dog's movements in real time, and so we can download this information and analyse it later. So if we have a look at the map on the laptop here, we can see where the dogs have been during their surveys, how far they've travelled, and if there's any areas that we might have missed, we can go back later on to re-survey those areas. We can also use the information we have gathered to build up a map showing where recent stats have been found, which will hopefully help us to work out where the foxes might be. Foxes are pretty cunning and clever creatures, and as we've found out over the past 10 years, they're not that easy to find. But with our latest additions, Sam and Jazz, eradication of foxes might be possible after all.